Happy Hanukkah, Earthlings! It's December 2nd, 2010, and, well, you may remember that a few weeks ago, aka the beginning of the month, I decided that I would make a video twice a week and a webcomic every Saturday, and the last week or so I've kind of failed at that. Well, yeah, you know, I forgot to take stuff like Thanksgiving into account and holidays, and yeah... You fail! I fail? You fail! You, you made a promise to these nice people on the internet that you would have two videos a week. And a webcomic. And a webcomic. You know what I have to say to that? What do you have to say? Ah! Roll the theme song. So I'm here with Paul Fleece of Norman Tweeter Productions, the NT Crew, the Puppet Masters of Tacoma. Paul is here to help fill you in on the latest updates. First thing, First thing, Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving was crazy! <laughs> get it away! <laughs> Too hey. close! I'm trying to get him to purr on command. Okay, purr! Yeah, 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 yeah! Duct tape shoes. Whoa! Duct no. tape shoes? This is the last Thanksgiving of this decade. <laughs> Rub it up, dog. Thanks for the grub. Second thing, science news! <laughs> Today in science news. Science news. Today in science news. Science news. Really? Today in science news. Science news. Researchers uh, at NASA have discovered a new life form. Ah! A new kind of life that we have never seen before. Rather than basing itself off of the typical things that uh, we we assume, uh, it has replaced. What is it? Phosphorus? Phosphorus? Phosphorus for arsenic. Arsenic. Not the old lace, though. Although we could probably dress it up in old lace. This is a type of life partially constructed of something that we thought was poisonous to all kinds of life. This completely blows out of the water everything we thought in searching for life. We can no longer assume that all life is based on these certain things that we expect it to be, which means, of course, that all the sci-fi geeks were right all along in all, of our, in all of our theories and, and wondering, like, well, why, why, why does life have to just be based on this thing? No, no, we can have, we can have other things. We can have non-carbon life, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Thing number three is that Stir Fry TV and District Lines are combining to do a sort of contest thing. All the contest is is asking people to vote for their favorite YouTuber under 100,000 subs, subscriptions that is, which I'm most definitely under. So while I have much fewer subscriptions than anyone else really participating in this, I would certainly appreciate a vote. There is a link down there along with the story about the fantastic new life form. <laughs> and yeah, all you have to do is uh, log in to the District Lines contest through your YouTube account, you only get one vote. There's not a vote every day thing. The prize is a thousand dollars, and that could really, really help me out. In addition to, to more time to find more employment, winning this contest would also allow me to find more time to actually come up with a proper business plan while not being desperate about money. I'm less desperate now than I have been, but I would like that to last. I have about as much chance of winning this as a cat has of becoming that strange arsenic-based life form. But he could use the help, guys. Well, yeah, and, and, and quite frankly, it can't hurt to try. After all, Wheezy Waiter, he took part in the uh, contest with the singing and the note. And I can't remember words, but he won. And he had the fewest subscribers of all of them. So I'm wondering if I can pull maybe another such win out of Ooh. you guys. Maybe? Maybe? No? Well, that's okay. I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, go ahead and vote for him, guys. Norman Tweeter officially throws their weight behind Adam the Alien. Yay! Yeah! That said, if I don't make it to the final round, please vote for Miss Alyssa 15 in the final round, which will begin after this round, uh, if I don't make it. Because she's pretty awesome, she's a friend of mine, and I wouldn't have actually known about this contest if she hadn't been out there begging for votes, too. So, I feel a little dirty, but, you know, could really use the money to pay rent and such, so, yeah. Ah! I'm just gonna keep doing this. Fare thee well. So long, flashbags. <laughs>